Coming up next, installing solar on the off-grid shed. Stay tuned. Before we get going on the roof solar, just take a couple minutes to take a look at some things. Updates, I went ahead and placed the line that goes up to the junction box, and placed it with uh, some metal conduit instead of just using Romex, figured it's safer. Also brought the solar panels in. I'm not sure I've shown you guys these solar panels, but these are Q-cells, Q-peak dual G7, 320 watts each, 24 volt nominal cells. Now these are the traditional 60 cells, except they're in parallel. So you'll see we have six cells going over and then 10 cells going up. It does that in the middle of the panel right there. And then the bottom to the middle of the panel there does the same thing and they run in parallel. I've also added a little bit more insulation. And wherever I plan to do something with the wall, for this case, I'm probably gonna put some shelves near that corner. Just wanna put insulation there so I don't have to deal with getting behind there after I built something. I've also gone ahead and started building a battery box for the BYD batteries. Started working on this at the end of summer. And I'm at the point where I'm, I need to build some doors and go ahead and start insulating the box from the outside. So I'll have more updates on that when we go ahead and start the DC wiring, the batteries. But right now, we wanna go ahead and start installing the solar panels. So I have four 11 footers for rails. I'm using an iron bridge system. These will connect to each other to make a 22 foot. And then I'll cut pretty much a foot off each side and run two rails, top and bottom. I've also secured most of the other uh, balance of system for mounting the rails and solar and using the iron ridge flash foot tubes. Everything's black. It's gonna match up quite nicely with the asphalt roof along with the black rails. So just to give you guys a heads up that I'll probably do a lot of this off camera, running out of time. I need to get the uh, rails up and the panels before the snow flies. So I'm definitely running out of time. I want to get this project done so I can focus on the DC and the batteries. Now a lot of measuring needs to happen before we even get started. So looking at these rafters, there's 16 in total and I'm not going to use the two end ones because that would be at the edge of the shed. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach on to the first one, and then go four feet. So one, two, three, four. There's 16 inch on center, so every four is four feet. So I'll do that once, twice, three, four. And then when I get to the fourth one, I'm gonna go over five studs. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five, and get to the uh, one nearest to the edge of the building. I'm using the XR100 rails, so the max span on those are just over seven feet. So I'll be well under that. Most of these will be four foot, and the last run will be just over five feet. Now the width of the rails, apart from each other, will be around 38 inches. So what you do is you look at the holes where they would traditionally mount. So from here to up here is 38 and a half inches so give or take a few inches we'll go ahead and set the rails that far apart now iron ridge recommends that you go ahead and drill a pilot hole up on your first rafter and try to do that with all the corner rafters so you can drill your pilot hole and then go three quarters of an inch over and be right in the middle of that stud i've seen other installers go ahead and just take a hammer and find the stud but i'll probably do the pilot hole and then get my first one uh, exactly in the middle of that stud. I also want to try to get the rails and panels in the center of the roof. So I just did the measurements. So from the uh, hole to the edge of the panel is 13 and 7 eighths. Same thing on the bottom of the panel. So again, we're looking to get this centered on the roof and make it look all professional.
With the outstanding weather we were having, went ahead and started working on measuring, joining, as well as cutting the rails to length. Iron Ridge definitely makes a high quality system for installing solar panels. I won't bore you with the rest of the measurements, but there were many to make sure everything lined up nicely on the roof. After installing both set of rails, it was time to go ahead and mount our first solar panel. Before mounting, I did work on the solar cabling for the positive and negative and made my own custom MC4 connectors. This actually went easier than I thought. Having the right crimpers is essential to getting the job done. I'll leave a link below in the description for those crimpers. Having installed the PV cables as well as the first solar panel, we started squaring it up to make sure it was even on the roof. All right guys, finishing up the video this part, I'm gonna make this a two part series as far as installing the solar. Rails are in good shape. We got one panel up last night. It's not connected to any of the cabling because I need to go ahead and, and do all the cabling down here as far as hooking it up to the combiner box and making sure everything's safe there before we're connecting panels on the roof. I also wanna get some clips for each solar panel so I can take those positive and negative PV wires and clip them off to the side before connecting to each other. Tomorrow I'm going to head over to the electrical distributor and order some of those clips for the solar panels as well as some additional clips for the PV rails from Iron Ridge. Just want to tie down those cables a little bit better. Meanwhile I'm going to work on the two strings, add them to the combiner box, get that all up and running, secure the ground, and we should be good to go once this is all set. I can resume work back on the roof and bring more panels up and get them hooked up. All right, guys, gonna finish up the video now. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and you get to follow along with all the projects, especially this off-grid solar shed. Everyone take care and have a great day.